the world is waking up to a concept that Rarick Pacific built its business on. That things should be made well and used over and over. Rarick for 107 years now has been very, very focused on the building of returnable assets. Everything that we have ever done has been designed to provide a durable product for our customers. Rarick Pacific has been making waste and recycling carts for 40 years now. And one thing we've learned by observing our partners in the field, the recycling business is a tough business. Some plastics are pretty easy to recycle, like beverage bottles and milk jugs. But some of the things our customers' customers bring to the curb don't fit into simple closed loops. What you're often left with is mixed material, some of which is really, really hard to recycle. The economics of it just aren't there. The industry calls them a bulky rigid, which is essentially all your patio furniture, your laundry baskets, toys. About a decade ago, engineers at Rarick Pacific developed a way to incorporate the hard to recycle kinds of plastic their customers were having a difficult time finding a market for. What I really got excited is our investment into new processing technologies that allowed us to incorporate recycled material by injecting it into the core of the plastics. It's called co-injection technology. It allows for a range of challenging recyclate to make up the core of Rarick Pacific's waste and recycling carts. Then they wrap it with a colored, customer-branded exterior. And it really overlays the inner core recycled material to give it a finished product look. Products that are fully branded for them on the exterior surface, the color they want, the decoration they want, the, the appearance that they want, but we can fill the middle of that product with recycled content that doesn't have many other uses other places. Multiply that out by millions of cards a year made by your friends at Rarick Pacific and suddenly, Rarick's own customers are finding a viable market for their more challenging recycled streams. And to me, that was game changing. 